I have these two bottles, and they're two clear liquids. And these two clear liquids teach me a lesson about patience. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. I'm going to pour this liquid into this bottle. And while I do that, nothing is going to happen. And I'm going to pour it back into this one. And we've got to be patient with it. Uh, Charlie, what's something you've had to be patient for? Amazon, a package from Amazon, yes, I have to be patient for that as well. What about you? What's something you have to be patient for? To have a baby born, yes, you have to be very patient for that. You have to wait nine months. That's a long time. You know, Jesus waited a long time for something too. Jesus waited a really long time to do his first miracle. Jesus was actually older than me when he did his first miracle. And this is teaching me about patience because nothing is happening. I put this together, I shake it, and still nothing is happening. But Jesus had to be patient, and Jesus told his mother to be patient, that his time had not yet come. But we didn't know that something extraordinary was happening with Jesus and with his ministry. Mary was very trusting of Jesus when she told the servants to do whatever he says. Now, that liquid is really testing my patience. I don't know what's happening with it. I really hope something does happen to it. Because, just like what's in here, there is a crazy thing happening at that wedding at Cana. They ran out of wine, and that's a big deal at weddings back in the time that Jesus was alive. If you run out of wine, you run out of fun, essentially, at those weddings. Not only that, you run out of blessings and luck. But Jesus, he did something incredible. Now, this is supposed to change into something really cool. Something like that. <laughs> but while we do, while we wait, Jesus waited a long time, too. And that might look like magic if it actually does work. But it's not, it's science. I actually put chemicals in that. They combine together, and then they make something really cool. But the thing with Jesus is he didn't use magic. He used his authority. He was God. And he used his authority from God to change that water into wine. And the amazing thing is, Jesus uses his authority for something even better. Jesus uses his authority and his power as the Son of God to forgive all of our sins and raise himself not just from the dead and not just himself from the dead, but raise each and every one of us from the dead. It's a crazy power. It looks like magic, but it's just God. I'm going to have all of you guys fold your hands. Let's stick out our hands like this, just like Laura taught us. Wiggle our fingers, put our hands together, and everybody in the congregation can repeat after me. Jesus, thank you for forgiving our sins. Teach us to trust you and your love. In your name we pray. Amen.